Hello everyone, it is Saturday, June something, probably the 23rd, 24th? It's Saturday and I'm all like dressed up because I went out earlier, but I'm back home. Don't think I'm going back out today, it's extremely hot. I was thinking about maybe going out with a friend, but I'm not sure. But anyway, we have something exciting to unbox. So. I mentioned this in my not last vlog, the one where I was trying on summer dresses, that I purchased another Tory Burch handbag. I'm so excited to unbox this with you guys. I mentioned in that vlog that the bag does have gold detailing, which I'm like a white gold stainless steel girly, but, but why not both? Why can't you have both? I still have a lot of gold jewelry. I just don't really wear it. And I thought, why? not just wear both. One day, just a silver girl, and then the other day, just wear gold and switch it up. You can wear whatever you want, and you can also mix metals too. Like You can definitely mix metals, but I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Here is the box. I'm gonna try not to have my address in there. Here is the box, and I'm just gonna get this open with you guys. I did order two more things from the Tory Burch semi-annual sale, and I just, I need to stay off that website every day they add new things and it's like they know they know <laughs> so i have my little card here that says thank you our brand was started with a founding principle to empower women we hope you love your order and are thrilled you are part of our community tori birch and then a qr code at the back to learn more oh my goodness i'm so excited okay it is wrapped up beautifully and i see that there is a dust bag so that's perfect pull down on the dust bag as well here she is on first sight. Let me get all the wrappings off. Oh my goodness, she is so pretty. And it's stuffed on the interior, of course. And it's a magnetic close right here. And then the tags are here. And then this is wrapped up, so we'll unwrap this right now. If I go out today, I might switch up all my jewelry to my gold jewelry <laughs> and my black Tory Burch sandals. I have the gold detailing and just use this bag. Here she is in full. Here is the back, black leather on the handle and then on the back with a little pocket. Maybe not as big for your phone, but you definitely put like tickets if you're traveling with this. If you have honestly like cash or cars that you wanna stuff down here just for easy access, you can do that as well. Your FIA detailing all over. Oh my gosh, stunning, stunning. So going inside of the bag, look at this beautiful caramel leather. Oh my goodness. So going inside the actual bag, it is more caramel color inside. And if you can see what I was saying is it's split. It's not just extra compartments. It has two zipper pockets inside of here. So you have that back one, this little pocket back here. Then you also have this middle one, which I'm gonna open and show you guys. Look at this little middle one right here. Perfect for change if you have change, cash. You can put little knickknacks in there as well. Zip that back up. And then you have your two front pockets, which my other Kira has. They're just a little bit bigger than this. So you have this one right here, and then you have one right here connected. So here is the strap that it comes with. And if you can see, it's a gold detailing, but it's almost like a bronzed gold. It's not very yellowy. It's almost, yeah, like a bronzed gold, kind of like a polished vintage gold. Here is the strap all the way and it has a buckle with let's see one two three four adjustment pieces right here it might be some more here hiding so total of one two three four five six seven adjustments all the way so you have quite a bit of room to adjust as you see fit and then it has another strap here so i can kind of tuck this in beautiful so here is the bag as a crossbody and this is on the shortest loop. Of course, if you're taller than me, you can plug it down a little bit so it's longer hanging, or if you just want it to be longer hanging anyway, you can do that. But this is the bag. Oh my goodness, guys, it is so stinking cute. And I love that the handle just kind of falls forward, doesn't just like stay up. I feel like it looks weird if it stays up. It just falls forward. And if you want to get in there, all you have to do is just reach in. Oh, this looks so stinking cute. So this is what the bag looks like just in my hand, just carrying it on the side and I do have the strap just hanging down and it does not hit the floor which is very nice so if I wanted to swap between having it in my hand and just kind of hanging it off of my shoulder I don't have to worry that the strap is going to be dragging on the floor and you know have to take off the thing and you know just adjust it out of the way or tuck it into the bag I can just let it fall like this 
I'll be right behind it. Oh, this is just so beautiful, guys. You guys know what I forgot to mention? This bag kinda has feet. <laughs> Look at the bottom. Not exactly feet with like pegs, but definitely something better than having just the raw bag down here and having to put this on. I mean, ideally you wouldn't put your bag on the floor, but let's say you had to, or let's say you're having to put it on a table. You just never know. This, this little black leather part, I love that. I'm so happy about that. I enjoy bags that have some type of protection for the bottom because you're always going to be putting down your bag somewhere unless you can have it like over a chair kind of like hooked or if you go to a restaurant that has uh, purse hooks or I've been to restaurants which they are just so lovely where they have like an actual purse hook meaning like they will bring you a little pillar for all the ladies at the table and guys who have purses and we can just hook our bags there. Love them. I hope they're doing okay. I'm so stinking happy. This bag is beautiful. I have another Tory Burch package to unbox. I got a pair of sandals and I'm a little worried they won't actually fit because they're a size seven. I usually like to get a size seven and a half in sandals, but I realized the last few sandals that I've bought in are the ones that I still have are a size seven actually. Sam Edelman ones, all of my Tory Burch jelly ones, um, and then a few other brands. I realized they're size seven. So I was like, I think I'll be okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this out. There we go. These are the studded jelly size seven in perfect black. Like I said, if they don't fit, I will just return them. But they were also on sale on the website. Oh, I think these are gonna be perfect for size. So here they are. Just simple and black and jelly. They also come in a cream white color and a pink color. And I was gonna do white too, but I was like, no, because if I get size seven for both and they don't fit, then I'll have two to return. But these are so stinking cute. My toes are a little chip. I think the seven and a half would have been okay too, but these are perfect. I'm very happy about that because you know, buying shoes online can be a little worrisome. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Saturday and I haven't picked up the camera since last Saturday. So technically it's still a weekend vlog, but just different weekends. It's 1, 1.06 in the afternoon and I'm dressed. I just have on that little tan shirt dress that I got from Forever 21. I'll link it if it's still available. And then my little black Tory Burch mini Millers, which I'll link as well. And then I just have on this gold plated Miller ring from Tory Burch as well too. It's like a very Tory Burch day. I was thinking about wearing my new bag, but I was like, no, I'm just going to the grocery store. I don't feel like having like a nice bag just in the grocery store as the first time I wear it out. So I'm just gonna wear like my little bays, little tiny cross potty. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a water bottle sling, but I'm not having a water bottle in there. But I wanna go to HEB, but I wanna go to the HEB market. I've been there before with you guys. It's like a little, I don't know, it's just like the H-E-B, instead of being like a big H-E-B, it's like a small market style and I just love it. And I was looking online, like the little H-E-B app, and I was just gonna go to the regular H-E-B or do a grocery delivery, but I was like, let me get outside. I'm like always home, let me get out and about. And the H-E-B, like the little market one by me has pretty much everything that I wanted to get. So I was like, let's just go. And I know they're gonna be like the fresh bakery, everything. So even though the big H-E-B I usually go to has it, I just feel like the market one is just so cute and quaint. It's just that when I want like a bunch of things, like specific items that I just know won't be at the small one, I just don't go. So I end up just forgetting that it's there. But today I just kind of want like poke bowls, uh, biscuits, like fresh made biscuits. And I saw that they have it in the store. So we're gonna go to HB. I like love their prep meal section. I'm hoping that I can find some poke bowls because that's what I wanted. I wanted two things of uh, poke bowls because I, I tried one and I loved it, so I'm gonna try another one with like the same kind of imitation crab in it, but they have a bunch of like these heat meals, and then these kind, and then these ones that come in like little bowls and stuff like that. Here are the biscuits that I love. Look at these, they're so good. I got them last time I was at HUB, -E and these are four count. They were baked or packed today and sell by, I think yesterday. So let's see if there's like a fresher one, but if not, I like the coloring on that. It's not too like burnt. <laughs> Ooh, these ones were baked yesterday. Perfect, let's do these ones. They have my favorite Kodiak crunchy 
granola and cookie butter. I love to like smash this up and put this in my yogurt. So I'm gonna get a box. I wanna see if they have the other, no they don't. They only have like the two other chewy, but I went online. Kodiak has a bunch of different crunchy flavors. And if I ever find them in the store, I'm gonna try them because I love this. Usually I put granola in yogurt, but for some reason getting like a granola crunchy bar and smashing it just, I don't know, it's just perfection for me. They also have like a crap ton of other granola bars. So I'm trying to see if I want to try. They have these. H-E-B brand chocolate chip crunchy. But I'm not really a, like in a chocolatey mood right now. They also have, ooh, look at these. Chewy bars, caramel apple. That might be good to put in yogurt. I'd have to like cut it up. Hmm. Then they also have cranberry, white chocolate, and raspberry. Or should I just stick to what I know? <laughs> because I can get very ahead of myself because I wanted the granola. And then what else do I have on my list? This is how I do my little like H-E-B list. And then you can just kind of like check it off. So I got the crunchy bars. Now I need soy sauce. I ran out of soy sauce and I'm kind of like, should I get honey for my tea? Honestly, no, because I've been drinking my tea without any sugar or anything. And I think I should just stick to that and not have any in there let's see don't need any jelly okay so soy sauce so i'm gonna get this saucy cajun sauce because i still have bow tie pasta at home and i was thinking maybe i could do pasta for dinner tonight they have like a few others but i want to give this a try because it seems the most interesting so i'm gonna get that got my sushi bowls and they're on sale they're like two dollars off so i got the san antonio pokey and then the crunchy california pokey we are back home and i'm going to show you guys everything that i got from heb I'm so glad that I got my butt up and went out. It was nice to just, I don't know, be outside, especially after being cooped up, I think, for the last... Like, I've gone to the gym, but the gym's, like, downstairs at my apartment. So, for the last few days, I've just been at home working, especially yesterday. But I have so much stuff in here. I used my little trunk thing that I've had for a few years. Um, I honestly, I had it inside in the little storage room area that I have with just like random knickknacks in it. And I was like, let me take this into the store and use it. So instead of having to put my groceries in bags, they can just put it inside of here. And they were so sweet, they did it. They were like, yeah, no worries. Because I thought it would have to be like a reusable grocery bag that looks like a grocery bag. But they're like, no, if it's like a basket, we'll put it in there. And I was like, that's very nice. So let me show you guys what I got. I have everything stuff in here. So I'll just start top to bottom, honestly. So it might just be super random the way it all comes out. But I have some HEB original tortilla chips because I got queso, which I haven't had in a while, just like the HEB kind. I just got the queso blanco. So I'm gonna have a really nice snack this evening and tomorrow too, and probably like Monday. I love queso and I haven't had it in a while at home, so I'm excited. So I got that. And then I think you guys saw me grab these two Sushiya Poke Bowls. I got the Crunchy California Pokey. I think it's Pokey or Poke. I could be saying it wrong. And then I also got the San Antonio Pokey or Poke. And I'm living in San Antonio, hence the name. So I got these two. This is random. I just realized I'm down to like three dish pods. So I got the Cascade Platinum, just the 14 count. So that's just that. I have some soy sauce because I ran out. And I might need it for one of the bowls. Then you guys saw me grab this saucy Cajun pasta sauce, which I'm really excited to try. The little Cajun one that I've tried from Trader Joe's, which I haven't gone to Trader Joe's in so long. Oh my goodness. Anyway, the one I tried from Trader Joe's, I didn't really like. Actually, I didn't like the Cajun one. So I'm hoping this is a little different and maybe better. So I got that because I have some bow tie pasta I mentioned to you guys at home. I got three of these Siggy vanilla yogurts, which I've never tried Siggy before, but they said that Icelandic yogurt is thicker than Greek, and I love Greek because it's really thick. And what I discovered is I like whole milk Greek yogurt better than non-fat, and I just haven't found like a non-dairy yogurt or non-dairy Greek yogurt. That's so amazing that I just, I like the forager one, but that one's runny. So when I'm in the mood for like a thick yogurt, nothing non-dairy does it for me. So I end up getting... I usually got like, or in the past I got Chobani. Recently I've been doing the Greek Gods, which I really like. It's really good and I love it with my little like Kodiak granola crunched up. 
But anyway, I saw that Siggy's or just like Icelandic yogurt was thicker than Greek. And this one came in a whole milk version too, because I know a lot of yogurts have non-fat. I just like whole milk, like give me all the fat. <laughs> and I got three of these Siggy vanilla, what are they, strained whole milk yogurt Icelandic cream skyers? Skur? Skur? I, I think I'm butchering that, but I just got three of these. They also had the strawberry and rhubarb, and I was gonna get one, but all of them expired like Monday, or Tuesday, July 4th, and I was like, I don't know if I'll eat it before then. These expire like end of July, so I got three of the same vanilla. These are super cute. I got these fully cooked kolaches. I got cheese, and then I got the jalapeno and cheese. They're just so singing cute. I saw them on the HV app, and they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be, but they're so cute. I don't know, I don't know, so. I didn't even check the best by date. Okay, so we're definitely having the ones. Oh no, by today? Chi, I failed myself. This one expires at the end of July. This expires today. So we're gonna have one of these today and I think it'll be fine. It's the best if used by, not like expires. So today and tomorrow will be fine. So I'm gonna have one of the cheese today. This was super random too. And I couldn't even find more of them. It was just sitting there. It's this ready to enjoy margarita wine cocktail by Gloria. It's in the flavor strawberry, right? Yeah, strawberry. It's 13.9% alcohol. And I don't even know what I was thinking when I grabbed it, but I was like, put this in the fridge, throw it over ice and then take it down to the pool and breathe. But I was gonna get more to try like they had the regular flavor, but I only saw this one. So I just, just grabbed it. So we'll try it. I got two plantains so I can have plantain with egg. I should have got another carton of eggs, but I think I'm still good. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. I have exactly 12 eggs, so I'm good. So I have two plantains. I got three Fuji apples, which is such a weird number to have because I have no apples to like even it out, but I got three nectarines. So total of six fruits. That's how like my mind works if y'all wanna know. Like if I didn't get any other fruit, I would have gotten four apples or six apples or five apples. Okay, so here's the thing. This is so weird. If I'm doing delivery and I want four apples, I always buy five. If I want six apples, I always buy seven because I'm always betting on the fact that like one of them ends up damaged or one's just kind of like, uh because it's delivery and because it's not like not you choosing your fruit. It sounds insane actually when I say that a lot, but there's, there's a method to most of my madness. So I got three nectarines. You guys saw me grab the biscuits in store and it comes with four. These are such good biscuits and I have my little vegan butter from Croc, Country Croc. Country Croc plant butter in olive oil. I actually really like that. So I've been using that as my butter. And also the Earth Balance one is really good, but the crock one is smoother, like it's creamier, so it's easier to like scoop out of the container and spread. I have the Kodiak Crunchy Bars in cookie butter. It's like my favorite granola bars. These honestly, they have a maple one that I saw on their website, but these ones kind of taste like the, is it Nature Valley Crunch Bars? Except less, in my opinion, less crumbly. Like it's crumbly, but I feel like this just doesn't get ever when I'm eating it. I feel like the Nature ones, you take a bite and it's like, these ones not so much, which is good. And then these are energy drinks. I was gonna try the Celsius, the new Coca-Cola one, cause they were having like a sale on Celsius, but the market downtown didn't have any Celsius. They only had like Alani New and like a few other random ones. These are one of the random ones I've never tried before. They're the Zoa Zero Sugar Energy Drinks. And it was three for five, so I got three. They have strawberry watermelon and Sucralose is a sweetener, so strawberry watermelon. Then I got tropical punch, which I'm really excited for. And then just because I wanted to get one of each, I got cherry limeade. Cherry and grape's not like my favorite flavor for things, but to try it, I might be surprised. So I got that. And then got some organic orange juice. They didn't have any like calcium and like vitamin D orange juice with no pulp. They only had one that was no pulp, but it was light, so it had stevia in it, and I was like, no. So I just went with the organic orange juice, just H E B brand for like my green juices, and I need to have a green juice with like the collagen mixed in today, and I also need to have a kolache since they were like best buy today. And then, this was random, this was like when I was about done shopping, I was like, oh, I want pancakes. But I already have pancake mix, like the Kodiak one, but it's the cinnamon because when I did a delivery once, they didn't have buttermilk, so they subbed it for cinnamon, which is good, but I wanted just kind of like basic pancakes, so I just got these Day Waffle Bakers. 
I, I probably said it's so weird, but these buttermilk pancakes are just frozen pancakes that I can throw into the microwave or the toaster or air fryer and just easily have. And the last two things I got, these were on sale. I think they were like half off. They're the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Multi-Purpose Cleaner. You guys know I love the Mrs. Myers brand. I mean, all of my dish soap, my hand soap, my hand lotion in the kitchen is all Mrs. Myers. Like it's on this little tray. <laughs> it's like the hand lotion, the hand soap, and then back here I have the dish soap. And then in the bathroom, it's still on like the pedestal like this with the hand soap, the hand lotion, and behind it I have like the matching room spray. These were on sale for $2.44. They have the lilac scent, mint, and then rose. I just got two of the all-purpose cleaner because I go through all-purpose cleaner really quickly because I'm constantly cleaning. I like deep cleaned yesterday night, like deep cleaned, like back in the couch, everything mopped. I was, I had one of those like late night motivation spurts to deep clean everything, so I did. But yeah, so I got two of these. They also had the dish soap on sale for Actually, all of the scents too. I think except for Rose. Rose didn't have a dish soap, but it had multi-purpose cleaner and dish soaps for most of them. So I was going to get a dish soap, but I was like, I'm fine. I would rather just keep it like matching on the pedestals and then any of the little multi-purpose spray I can just like hide down below. That's everything that I got from H-E-B. Not a super big haul, but kind of more like ready meals, like ready things that I can just kind of grab and go. I don't really feel like cooking, cooking right now. I go through like phases. Some weeks, some months, I'm just like on it. I wanna cook everything from scratch. I wanna like make my own bread. And then other weeks and months, I'm like, I don't wanna to touch a pan. Like me and my air fryer, that's all I need. So it goes in waves. That's just the human experience. <laughs> that's just what it is being a human and alive. You just go through spurts of being motivated with certain things, being unmotivated with certain things. It just, some months I want to work out every single hour of every day. Other months I'm like, I don't want to move my body. <laughs> you could not pay me to move my body. So it just, yeah. But that's everything that I got. I'm going to put everything away and then kind of figure out what I want to do for the day. I need to water the plants outside. And I did get a watering can in the most like girl way ever. I was taking out my trash and outside the trash room door because they pick up the trash Sunday through Thursday, but Friday, Saturday they don't. So it was like a Friday, Saturday took my trash out to the room and outside of the door there was a white watering can like a white metal watering can and it looked fine to me so I grabbed it came home cleaned it and now I have three watering cans I texted my sister and I was like guess what I just found and guess what I now have <laughs> she was like it's so cute and I was like I know I'm to throw it away it's a little rusted though so I can see why they threw it away but it's so cute we have like an audience hello everyone and then Gia keeps trying to mess with his butt. Leave his butt alone. Every time he gets in the chair, I just think it's the cutest thing. Because he's just like, what are you doing, Mom? And I'm just over here cleaning out the fridge and about to wash all of the fruit. And I need to, yeah, do some dishes. I just think it's just so stinking cute. He has the cutest little face. And then Gia's over there. Look at her. She was like sleeping a second ago, but she's about to be out soon. I vacuumed the couch yesterday and I can already see. Look at that. These little hairy people. So I'm about to make my green juice and I'm gonna use the purely inspired collagen peptides. And then this is the green powder I'm gonna use. It's Evolution Greens. I was using the Orgain Probiotic and I like that, but I ran out. And then I also had another one, which is this one, Purely Inspired Organic Greens. But this has stevia, which I didn't realize when I bought it. So it's not, I don't think I'll repurchase it unless I can find this exact one completely like unflavored and unsweetened. Even with like a natural sweetener, I don't really know why greens have to be sweetened. Like if they're not like a flavor, like if it was greens, but like strawberry flavor, I get it. But if it's unflavored, I guess because people would drink this on its own, but I feel like a lot of people just mix their green powder into a smoothie or something else so they don't taste it anyway, but it's okay. So that was the other one I was using, but I'm gonna try this one today with the orange juice and then the collagen. I just need to grab my OJ, which I was gonna get lemonade to try, but I was scared at the last minute that the lemonade mix wouldn't be good. So I was like, let me just stick with what I know. 
orange juice. And then I'm also washing my fruit. I have my nectarines here. And then I'm gonna wash my apples next. Usually I use a bigger bowl so I can fit everything, but it's in the dishwasher, which I need to run. Look at how frothy that got. Like, I was not expecting that. Let's try it. I'm nervous, but let's try it. It's not awful. I can actually do this. Like, this is doable on a daily basis. Of course, like, if I could find a green powder that's like completely unflavored like this, I would love it. This one has like a orchard apple flavor, quote unquote. <laughs> so it's not bad. It kind of like brings out more of the apple flavor with the orange juice, which is so interesting. I might do lemonade next time, like just get a small thing of lemonade and then a regular size orange juice or a bigger orange juice and then just try it and see. I just put on comfy clothes because I'm not going outside today. At least not now. I might go to dinner, but later. So like, I'm gonna be comfy for a little bit. I just have on this big sweat jacket from Aerie. And then I have on these black leggings, just chill leggings, not workout leggings. They're from like H&M, but yeah. I have my bowl, which is so good. I didn't make the mistake of putting too much of the sweet sushi sauce. Last time I did like a perfect amount and I was like, let me add a little bit more and a little bit more made it too sweet. So I did a little bit this time and then did some soy sauce to make it like a little salty. Perfect, love it. So I have that, I have my green juice. So I'm gonna eat my bowl. Jinx is still here watching me. I don't even know, just, just happy to be here. I'm gonna sit on the other chair next to him and then just like read my book and hang out for a little bit. I'll either pick you guys up later today or tomorrow. It's a little while later and I was just sitting down. I did some editing. I got most of the video edited, but I'm still filming. I wanted to make a tea before I jump in the shower. So I have the Good and Gather Organic Cranberry Pomegranate. I was between that one or the Raspberry Hibiscus, but I haven't had the cranberry one in a while. So I'm just gonna go with that. So I'm just waiting for my kettle to heat up and then I'm gonna pour it, let it seep while I'm in the shower and have some tea while I do my skincare and just kind of wrap up the night. Mm -hmm. 